How do you stop swimmers from performing excessive sculling motions while they swim? Hi everyone, Andrew Sheaf here with Swimming World Magazine, helping you help your swimmers get faster. Today we're going to talk about why swimmers scull when they swim and what to do about it. Let's dive in. When swimmers are moving through the water, they're constantly managing their body position. Ideally, they'd be doing that through their torso and their body. However, that's not often the case and they make errors. They slightly lose their body position and because they're suspended in water, they can feel that sense of imbalance and they do something to try to compensate and restore their balance. Unfortunately, those compensations tend to happen with the hands and the feet. So when you see a swimmer take a giant breath and their legs splay out to the side, they're not doing that because they're being lazy. They're doing that because that's how they have to stabilize their body in the water. You see the same thing with the hands. Different sculling motions are happening almost universally because swimmers are using the hands to create balance and create stability that they've lost through the torso. So when they take that giant breath and lift their head out of the water, they move their arm to the side and scull a bit, not again because they're being lazy, but because that's the only way they can create stability. You can tell them to stop sculling, but it doesn't really work because they have to do that to maintain stability. Here's what we're going to do to address that problem. You've probably heard about using tennis balls to improve propulsion and help swimmers learn to hold more water by using the forearm more effectively. You can also use it to help swimmers improve their stability and get rid of excessive sculling motions. All you have to do is take a relatively small ball, something like a lacrosse ball, tennis ball, anything that works, and then have swimmers hold that in their hands. You can also have them use closed fists, which works in a similar way. When they're holding the ball, they can't use their hand to scull, balance, or create stability but now they can feel that lack of stability and with that awareness, they can start to make a change. So if you're working on any drills where there's a breathing element or a body position element, and that's the goal of the drill, or if you're simply having them swim and work on these concepts, have swimmers hold a tennis ball or something similar in their hands, and that way they can't use the hands to compensate for any losses of body position. Then they're gonna to have to execute the drill or swim with better body alignment because they can't use the hands to compensate. They're gonna be able to feel it when they lose stability now, and that means they can fix it. Tennis balls and lacrosse balls are awesome options for improving propulsion, but they're also really great options for helping swimmers to improve their alignment, learn how to get more stable in the water, and that in turn is going to eliminate sculling actions from their poles, which is going to in turn improve their poles. And again, if you don't have, hope that was helpful and keep it simple.